Hello, it is so good to see you again. Thank you for inviting me to your laboratory. Do you remember the conversation we had in Laughlin, Nevada? It was about the exopolitical campaign. Of course, as I recall you were quite concerned about my involvement with that issue. Especially as it pertained to the lobbying efforts for UFO disclosure. Yes, that is right. I feel that you were unduly harsh. The government is keeping important secrets from us, and it is only through political activism that we will find out the truth. I must disagree. I find that position to be somewhat naive. You do not understand, ever since the saucer crash at Roswell in 1947, the government has been deeply involved in UFO secrecy, and there have been important scientific advancements that came directly from the back-engineered crashed saucer. Perhaps this is so, but you are making a lot of assumptions. They have obviously discovered the exotic power source for that flying saucer, and that means they have also discovered free energy. They are keeping it secret from us, and this has profound implications. I must disagree. I see very little evidence to convince me that this is so. When President Eisenhower personally met with the alien dignitaries at Edwards Air Force Base in 1954, they offered to give us their advanced technology. It was agreed that we would use their benevolent gifts for the good of humanity. But, instead, the military-industrial complex selfishly chose to use their technology for weapons. I have heard these rumors too, but I am very cautious to take them as gospel. Why are you being so obstinate? This is the most important issue in human history. The truth must be revealed. I too feel passionately that we should pursue the truth, but I feel that simply asking the government for out-and-out -out disclosure of all UFO facts will prove unproductive. I saw a government whistleblower being interviewed on YouTube, I thought he was tremendously persuasive. But... Do not interrupt me. I'm sorry. You are obviously unaware that the present administration is just about to formally disclose all their UFO information, and this will be the dawn of a new era in human history. I am very skeptical of such claims. It is our right to know the truth. I understand, but I am deeply concerned with the worldwide religious and political implications. You fail to see the truth about what the government is hiding from us. Let me share an analogy. Have you seen the classic film from 1951, The Day the Earth Stood Still? Yes, I love that movie. Me too. I thought Michael Rennie was simply fabulous. Yes, he was. It was far superior to the remake with Keanu Reeves. Yes, this is a point on which we can agree. Thank goodness. My point is that this was a very simplistic movie. It was a morality drama. If a handsome English actor with a deep voice landed his flying saucer in Washington, D.C., this, to me, might be quite agreeable. But I think it will be much more complicated. I have information from inside sources that disclosure is at hand. That very well may be true, but I will continue to be cautious in trusting such claims. Let me be clear. The news is at hand it could be any day now, perhaps even tomorrow, that it becomes universal knowledge that we are being visited by members of an extraterrestrial civilization. Perhaps we should agree to disagree. Fair enough. Will I see you at the upcoming convention in Roswell? Yes. I look forward to talking with you again. Goodbye. Goodbye for now.